This video will provide an overview of the electrical ground connections used on the Porsche 944 and their locations around the vehicle. Some signs you may have a faulty grounding issue include a heavy cranking or no start condition on the car, low alternator voltage readings, flickering lighting, intermittent electrical glitches or irregularities, dead battery or battery not charging, and visible oxidation on the ground contacts. The electrical systems on the car use the vehicle's chassis to ground and complete the circuit for a variety of components, and as a result there are a number of different ground connections around the car, so let's take a look at their locations. Starting with the battery, it's a good idea to first ensure the negative terminal is clean and the wiring harness is firmly connected. From here, there's a ground connection that terminates on the firewall just behind the battery location. The ground wiring also passes through the firewall into the engine compartment where it runs along the back side and there are two ground connections found on the upper bell housing for the battery and the DME computer. On the early 944s, there is an additional bare copper ground strap connected to the middle of the firewall down to the bell housing. On the left and right sides of the engine compartment are two grounding points for the brake pad wear sensors and or the anti-lock brake system wiring as equipped per vehicle. One is located near the cruise control servo and the other is located by the control valves for the fuel vapor management system. There are two grounding points associated with the lighting and accessories at the front of the car that lead to the central electrical panel, both of which terminate near the front of the frame rails. One on the left side of the car positioned below the headlight assembly just in front of the air conditioning receiver dryer, and the other on the right side of the car near the headlight control motor, again positioned down below the headlight assembly. At the back of the engine compartment below the plastic blower motor cover, you'll find a ground connection for the windshield wiper motor connected to the wiper assembly bracket below the base of the windshield. Below the front of the car, there is also a small ground connection from the steering rack to the aluminum cross member that is used to complete the vehicle's horn circuit. Moving inside the car, there are a couple ground connections for the interior electrical components located below the dashboard on the driver's side of the car. One is sitting just below the base of the steering column, and the other is positioned back on the left side behind the cruise control computer if so equipped. Finally, at the rear of the car, there is a ground connection for the rear lighting and accessories in the cargo area located beneath the carpet liner, and it terminates on the metal cover panel just below the build tag sticker. To determine if there's a poor ground connection to the engine, a multimeter can be used to test voltage on the circuit. First, set the meter to the 20 volt setting and test the voltage directly from the positive and negative terminals on the battery, making note of the voltage reading. Next, with the positive test lead connected to the battery, connect the negative test lead to a clean metal surface on the engine. And here, if you find a significant difference in the voltage reading from the reading before, that would indicate a poor ground connection. If you determine there's a bad ground connection, either through testing or visual inspection for oxidation, the terminal should be disconnected and cleaned using an abrasive, such as sandpaper or wire brush, until there are clean metal surfaces showing on both connection points before properly reconnecting them. As a further point of reference, the locations for the ground connections are outlined on this vehicle diagram, as found in the 944 Factory Workshop Manual, Volumes 4 and 5 Electrical, where we find just a few differences between the right-hand drive and left-hand drive cars, as well as between the early and the late cars.